really believe the power of genomic medicines, really from the start of the company. I think the origin came about when we realized that we worked in an experienced lab in these lipid nanoparticles. Genomic vaccines really represent the transition of medicine from an analog technology to a digital technology. But really to make the next step exploit the benefit of this technology, we recognized that manufacturing these particles, discovering them, developing them, scaling them, was hindering the field. That transformation, the impact that will have on medicine is, is akin to what digital technology transformations have had in other industries. This is really where we stepped outside our own network, our own comfort zone, if you like, and looked to the technology being developed by Carl Hansen in his lab, where he was applying microfluidics, the control of fluids at very small scales, to tackle a range of biological problems. So coming together with Danaher through the acquisition of, of Precision Nanosystems, we're able to provide deep solutions for our customers and really enable the cutting edge technology we've developed here at Precision Nanosystems and to really scale that and bring that out into the community in a much bigger way. Within a very short period of time and a few experiments, we quickly saw that there was potential for this technology to overcome the challenges that we faced. And then really from that point onwards, it was how can we apply that technology so that it's relevant all the way through to production of products that would meet a need such as. The mRNA vaccines for COVID have really demonstrated what this technology can do and the power of the technology. Now we are here celebrating our success, but it wasn't all foosball and beanbags. There was some real, real lows as well as big, big highs here. And so I think those early in their careers who think they can make this step to make this step. Because frankly, what's the worst that can happen? It doesn't work, but I will tell you that you will learn a hell of a lot. So it really is a fantastic time in medicine today, fantastic time to be in biotechnology, and I think we'll see progress faster, more efficient, more effective than we've ever seen before.